Your Natchez History Minute is brought to you by Natchez National Historical Park. Benjamin Franklin once said, Show me your cemetery and I will tell you about your town. The Natchez City Cemetery speaks volumes about Natchez. It began in 1821 with the removal of burials from the graveyard downtown, now the site of Memorial Park. The first burial in the new cemetery was in January of 1822. At that time, the cemetery consisted of a merely 10 acres overlooking the Mississippi River. Today, the site has grown to over 100 acres and it has been described by local author Greg Isles as unique in design and unparalleled in beauty, a quintessentially southern monument filled with the ironies of place and race that make Natchez so different from every other southern town. Every monument and tombstone has a story to tell, some simple, many compelling. Talented Natchez marble workers such as Edwin Lyon and Robert Ross crafted many of the sculptured monuments and visitors to the cemetery are treated to a remarkable display of ironwork produced in America in the early 19th and 20th centuries. The 100 acres has also been described as a horticultural delight filled with rare roses, spirea, azaleas, camellias, sasanquas, and holly. Sweet olive and ginkgo dots the landscape as do over 400 crepe myrtles, carefully tended by the master gardeners of Natchez. And of course, venerable cedar trees and majestic live oaks add a quiet dignity to the graveyard. Today, no visit to Natchez is complete without a tour of the city cemetery, for truly, it is a place where memory lives. This is Donald Estes, and this is a Natchez History Minute.